Wow. Okay. Speaking of addiction, I guess uh, uploading too many videos in one day is probably some sort of an addiction. Or, you know, I'm turning into Pam Talks or something. <laughs> uploading 15,000 times on one day because of my emotional roller coaster. Um, what can I say? I'm a lonely loser. I know you guys are going to rip me a new one for saying that, but I'm bored and I'm like alone. You guys are my pals and I love to talk to you. I just wanted to share briefly. I'm finally home. I'm in my, my driveway, terrible car lighting, but, um, because I, I kvetch and bitch and moan and complain so much, I also like to share little cute, sweet parts of my day. And that's the fact that, you know, my relief finally showed up so she could do meds because I'm not med cert. Um, at like 8.17, I was finally relieved. I was like, I uh, hate to dash, but I clocked right the hell out of there. I'm in my car. I'm like looking for my keys. I'm sort of cursing and, you know, there's stuff spilling out of my purse and like my just stuff is all over my car. And I go in um, my handbag and look what I find. Look what I pull out. One of my cats dropped their little, her little toy mouse in my handbag, probably this morning, maybe last night. And it just reminded me to stay grateful and um, have gratitude for the sweet, soft things in life that touch our hearts. And my cats do. I know you all think I'm a crazy duck woman and a crazy cat lady, but I love animals. I love my cats, love coming home to them. And the fact that there was that little fuzzy mouse reminder happy it wasn't a real mouse because they do that too. And believe me, I've learned to check my bed before I get into it at night. Um, but yeah, so my, my girls were thinking of me and put a little present in my purse this morning. I love them. I'm going to go inside now, take a shower, wash off the day, color my hair, put on sweats or pajamas, put on the TV, make some tea. And um, today was a real revelation about things because of the stuff I weighed in on um, when I was posting and the stuff going on with like Amberlynn and mostly Chantal today. Um, it shines a spotlight on my own issues and my own, you know, yeah, issues. And binge eating is not unlike binge drinking. And normally when I'm in this kind of mood, the old me would have definitely run off to a liquor store or a, or a bar tonight, binge drank, because let's face it, I never did it with just one or two or three in mind. I wanted to get blotto, erase myself, erase everybody in my life, erase the world, erase the day. And that was the way I drank. And I'm just grateful that with the insight of looking at other people and realizing what addiction does to our lives and not to judge them because that's cruel and it's unnecessary and it's not even helpful, but to realize like to keep myself in check, um, Smokey Steve and Mark, Mark, if you're, I mean, Steve, if you're listening to this, um, I re-listened to your, I think, latest video weighing in on the Chantal saga. And I really, really related. I was like saying like, yeah, boy, like right there in the car, um, as you were speaking, um, with how important it is to keep yourself in check and to, to at least look at others like success stories and maybe failure stories or struggle stories as a way to keep us on the straight and narrow too. I'm happy that I feel like shit tonight. I'm angry at the company. I'm tired. I feel very overworked and underappreciated, but I'm grateful um, that I'm not drinking tonight. So I kind of wanted to just come on here and tell on myself a little bit um, that it's really important in my own journey to, to realize the places that these things, whether it's drugs, alcohol, sex, shopping, gambling, food, or any mixture of the above, you know, they never lead to anything good. And it's, and it's a sobering, no pun intended, wake up call for me to do the next right thing. And I don't mean to lapse into AA speak because I don't really adhere to AA very much. And that's a story for another time, which I also say a lot. Okay. Uh, I feel really ranty and kind of manic right now, but I'm going to go in and whoosh, Wusha out the day. Thank you for listening. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.